my name is Renee Martin and as a child I was very shy very quiet and I loved to write and journal and be alone I was a loner growing up in Baltimore my mom my dad passed when I was young and she was raising us alone she did the best she could. She was a great provider as a mother. But I faced a lot of challenges in missing him. I experienced a lot of childhood trauma, to be honest, in my story. And I felt a lot of uh, pain and, and loss as a child. I did not realize that I had a problem until I was early 30s because during my lifetime I had been obese and after having gastric bypass surgery and that took away my other coping mechanism which was food I turned to alcohol so once I turned to alcohol it only skyrocketed from there the worst part of my alcoholism was right before coming to the hum. My family was crying out to me to get myself together and I just couldn't hear it. And I was so depressed and I think I probably was in my room probably 90% of the time isolated and alone and just depressed about what I'd become in my life and I wasn't answering calls and I wasn't talking to anyone really anymore and I decided that enough was enough when I would drink and I would pass out a lot and my family through God only through God someone knew my sister mentioned going to the hum and I had to um, I had to go to Bayview first to detox and then I went outside to use my phone while I was waiting to be seen and I was attacked waiting in the hospital at in the parking lot and I was blacked out and when I woke up, my money was gone. My um, phone was gone. I had a concussion. I had bruising on my head. I was bloodied. And I'm a runner. And in that moment, I felt God telling me, if you run now, this is it. Because all the times I would sneak out and go drink in the middle of the night. This time I was doing the right thing and something bad happened where all the other times people would say, don't leave out in the middle of the night, something bad might happen. Something told me this was only a test because I'm at a breakthrough point and it was right. At that moment, I felt like I had to stick and stay, finally just stick and stay. And I ended up sitting in the emergency room with a bloody head for another four hours, waiting to be seen. And finally, once I was seen, it was like everything just lined up for me to come to the home. The most amazing thing to me has been coming into this place, the first woman that met me, she gave me her clothes. She told me it was okay. Cause I was afraid. <clears throat> the first staff member um, went and got me underwear and just was kind, are you hungry? Do you need anything? And I felt comfortable. I didn't feel like I was in recovery or I was less than, or I was broken. They showed me around, they gave me warmth. And then when I met Miss Donna, Miss Vicky, and they start pouring into me spiritually, it really changed 
my life. And then when I got to Megan and Holly and their personalities and Joanna just showing me what nature can heal in you really changed me because I never was a nature girl and I tell her now she's made me that then we had meetings so it was like before when I did recovery I always focused on the 12 steps another time I tried recovery I focused on my spirituality but coming to the home taught me that I need all of that at the same time I can't just focus on one piece and then they also gave me therapy, which is something that I was needing since I was a child. I never had all three things aligned in one place. This is the first time I truly feel like I'm healing. Uh, before coming to the home, I felt like I didn't know what my purpose was or why I was even alive. And now I think being around Miss Pam, Miss Laura, they took us on a retreat and I finally got to see who I was going to be. I finally knew just by being around these women that I have to tell my story. I have to be open, I have to be honest. And that's my goal is to help other women who've been where I've been and they feel like they can't do it, that we can do it, we can come out of it. And it's nowhere near as dark as it is because I feel so much better and I know that my purpose is more than what I was. I'm just so grateful for helping up Mission and the culture and the environment that it offers to women is nothing like I've ever seen. It promotes unity, it promotes genuine Christian belief and faith in God and recovery as a piece of the puzzle. And I could not be more blessed and happy to be here. Thank you. That's it. <laughs>